We think we're seeing an explosion of data in our world. Some sources say that 90% of the data that's been produced in total occurred over the last two years, and we're only seeing that accelerating. At the same time, we're seeing that there is a lack of talent in this field. We need to educate more people with data science tools and expose them to the type of problems that those tools can address. The Columbia Data Science Student Challenge is a partnership between the Data Science Institute here at Columbia University, uh, Columbia Data Science Society, and Microsoft to help students go through a hackathon about data science. We're trying to bring together students of all different kinds of disciplines, and we're trying to push these students to understand that this quantitative method of thinking is something that's very broadly applicable. The students that have been working on the Student Data Science Challenge have been really innovating in, in ways that we didn't expect. The ideas that they've come up with to combine the open data for New York and the tools that they've got are really incredible. So students really need to be exposed to those cloud-based tools that they're going to see when they face their jobs. Microsoft is one of our industry affiliates and they provide Azure machine learning tools in the classroom so that students actually get to use tools that they will see in the outside world when they go into industry settings. You're monitoring what's going on. But it would really help if you could tell us where the prize is. So without further ado, our grand prize winner is Got Heat. Our project was to try to predict which buildings would have a high risk of being underheated based on some parameters that we determined would be uh, predictive. Azure Machine Learning is really great because the thing is it allows you to publish your work easily. And I think that's, that's one of the, the difficulties in, in machine learning is actually showing what you've done. Yeah, so the main part is being able to visualize census data or um, sort of survey data available in US or New York City in general. Yeah, so Azure Machine Learning, it's extremely easy to use. You need just drag and drop, you, you add some things and you're done.